Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale! In the last episode, we made it to Hotland. We beat Undyne. We went through, got through Undyne's uh, battle sequence in one try, which was absolutely astounding to me. Um, since the last time I played this, it took me like 20 tries, or maybe 30. But anyway, I want to go back to Undyne's house. I know it's been a very short time. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Yes, please. Where will we go today? Let's go to Waterfall. Then we're off. Yeah, I, want, I know that it's been a very short time since I fought with Undyne, but I want to go be friends with her, so let's go. Tra la la, I heard Asgore has a favorite food. Hmm, butterscotch pie, maybe? Because I have it. I just need to remember to bring it into the fight. Ch come again sometime. Tra la la. Alright, where am I? What's my inventory looking like? I think I used like a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Yeah. Dog residue. I can't remember if I can eat this or not. I don't think I can. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, maybe I should buy some crab apples then. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Back. Okay. That. Drop. Uh, item. That. Drop. Okay. Item. That. Drop. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the uh, the last one into my box. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna head in here to you. Can I buy some crab apples? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There. Can you get more? Okay. There we go. Exit. <laughs> My old man, old man McGucket voice. All right. I'm gonna save here. Like so. Good. There we go. Oh, -ho, the human arrives. Dang it, I thought I was gonna have a break from the crazy voices, but then I go and try to be friends with Undyne, and freaking Papyrus is here too. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Yes, I will hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus! <laughs> what? No. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi! I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Pyrus is all excited. What? What did I just say? Pyrus is all excited? Pi Papyrus is all excited. Here, Undyne, my friend got a brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> I'll uh put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie, Dipsy! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No! Oh, shoot! <laughs> I did not mean to press yes. Oh! Well, I've got some news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't gonna humiliate me. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll be so enamored with me, 
You'll be the one feeling humiliated by your actions. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Sit down and progress. Yes, I don't really care about looking around. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set! What would you like? <laughs> hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, <clears throat> I'm not just pointing to what you want. You can use the spear! Oh, here we go. Sugar goes in the tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Gross. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Fridge full of food. Kinda want the fridge. The fridge? You wanna have the entire fridge? No! <laughs> hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. The container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Fine. Tea, huh? Coming right up! <laughs> Awkward silence. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> oh god, this game has like five sound effects that it uses. <laughs> Okay, it's all done! Here we are! Careful, it's hot! It's not that hot! Just drink it already! You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard! So I'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight, like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that, he's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> here we go. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Oh boy. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce! Bam, tomatoes, banana, carrot. And fidget these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound on the dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? I'm gonna go strong. 
You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are un uniting against the healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Yeah! <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Bam. We have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah! Uh, just put them into the pot. I would put them in there. Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time for to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! I'm stirring! Stir harder! I'm stirring! Harder! Harder! I'm stirring! Ah, uh, let me do it! <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step! Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Turn right! I'm turning it up! Hotter! Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too- Oh. Huh. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with one another. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! No, 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 no! I'm dying! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost ride! Now come on! Hit me with all you've got! Yeah. Uh... Fake attack. You pretend to swing it undone with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharin shtick! But, the way you hit me right now, it... It reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just... Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Just like him! Who? Asgore? Listen, human! It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> Looks awesome. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another s sometime. What? But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh! And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. All right, that was fun. My voice is dead. How much time we got in the episode? Oh, we got. Oh, we're only halfway through. Okay, cool. Take uh, the river person back. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Find the boat. Yes. Oh, we go today. Hotland. Then we're off. Wee. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Tra-la-la! Temi village! 
the room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, I totally forgot to freaking tell you guys. So the reason last episode was so short is because for some reason my recording didn't pick up the first 15 minutes. Not a lot happened. We kind of just talked to Nabstablook and uh, then we went to Temi Village and that's about it. So nothing really story based, just a bunch of extra stuff. But yeah. So we went up into Napstablook's house. We did the snail racing. That's all what... That was the other pathway by Undyne's house. The other pathway was Napstablook's house. And then there's the snail racing very, very close to there. And then if you progress through Waterfall, there's the... There's the mushroom room where you have to light up the paths using the mushrooms. And then there's the darkening lantern room where you have to light up the path with the lanterns that darken. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like... Us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, Even if the elevators aren't working anyway. We'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Okay. Lab. Mm-hmm. Mm it's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... Hi, uh... I'm Dr. Alphys, Asgore's royal assistant. Scientist, what? <laughs> but, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've been, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... I'm slipping right into the Jacksepticeye voice for her. Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, um, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hot land. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make it more useful, you know, just some small practical adjustments, like, uh, anti-human anti combat features. Of c course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood! <laughs> anyway, um... Hopefully, you won't run into him. Uh, did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. <laughs> Metaton attacks? Yo, we're into Metaton already? I'm gonna cry. Screaming against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's, what's the prize for answering correctly? Mercy. Oh! Ha, you guessed wrong. I think Alphas was doing something when I did that. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? C. Yeah, she's giving me the answers. Correct. What a terrific answer. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. 
<laughs> Two trains, A, train A and train B, simultaneously depart from station A and station B. Uh, it's this one. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? <laughs> Alpha's the genius. Correct. You're so lucky today. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? It's a frogget. Oh, apparently not. It's Metaton. I'm so flattered you remembered. <laughs> the quiz show continues. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> it was the time was going up. Here's a simple one. How many letters in Metaton? <laughs> of course that one was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Meow Meow- Oh! Oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and- Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes and names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic, domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. Dr. Alf is helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Whee! Well, that was certainly something. Yeah, true. Alphys. It's a bag of dog full. Food, it's half full. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. But then, maybe, uh, if you need help... I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please! Thanks, Alphys. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number, number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom! <laughs> so awkward. It's a computer. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. <laughs> Yellow feeder tapping just behind the door. Very cute. Alphys just went to the bathroom to hide because she was anxious. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. What? You look inside a book. It's a comic book of giant giant of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you. It's very accurate. Anime. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you. It's very accurate. Let's see. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. It seems like it's what? Late? This doesn't strike you very accurate. Pink goop drips on the strange machine. Strange machine. Looks like Alphys's work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Hmm. Interesting. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. <laughs> I 
Zaton poster on the wall. Okay, I guess I'm leaving then. What time in the episode? Five minutes left? Okay, let's see what we can get done. Office updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undone fight the human. Oh god. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. But now I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh, we going through Hotland. Let's go. Oh. What? Vulcan? Uh, I think it's Hug. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch! Your defense dropped. Ah, so lovely. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Okay, I need to eat something. Item. Crab apple. No, wait. Crab apple. There we go. Easy peas. Gonna call them in a minute. Do it. Call me. Woo! That's fun. We strolling through Hotland, friends. Oh yeah, I need this actually really badly. There we go. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, Lamau. <laughs> oh, I can't get up there. Oh, Vulcan. Sunder plane. Not on purpose or anything. Flirt. You tell Sunder plane that it has cute winglets. Huh? You sicko. I see. It's like. The cringe. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Condescending barrel roll. You get too close to a thunder plane. Sun's airplane, but not too close. Eh? Human? I see. You have to get close, but not too close. Oh, shoot. I didn't do it enough. Cling. 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 Mercy. Let me just heal on this thing. Okay. Oh, this music's so good. Oops. Whee! There we go. Frying pan. Take it? Yeah. Got the burnt pan. Is that a weapon or is that, oops. Or is that a like, defense? Let's see. If I equip it, what do I have in my inventory now? Ballet shoes. I'm pretty sure, oh, duh, I just have to, ah! That was stupid. I just have to do this. Okay, so their attack. Got it. So, a frying pan is also attack. Interesting. OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna call! Ring, ring. Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. <laughs> oh, Alphys. Uh, hi! So, uh, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alphys here. Hi! The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, um, move, move through those ones. Uh, bye! <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, gee, did it! Claws have, haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the water. Weather. <laughs> that. God. Okay. Move, move. Oh, God. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Okay, don't move. What? I thought I... No! Uh. Stay still! Woo! That was skills right there. Here's a switch. Press it. Dis disact deactivated. Disactivated. Um, okay, so we're out of time in this episode. So in the next episode, I want to find a... Oh, I didn't read that one. Oops. Can you pick up me right now? It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Elf is here! The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. 
I think you should go to the right first. Okay. Can I save? You know what? Okay, I guess I'll go to the last save point and save. Just so that we're good and healed and ready to go next time. And these lasers are gone anyway, so this is good. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.